sleep deprived Chon here, I realized I kept calling the Black Widow X the Huntsman. I'm too tired to re-record all the voiceover, so just keep that in mind. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we're just going to be doing an unboxing and a slight overview on the Razer Senryo collaboration. Just a quick side note, for this video I added some background music, let me know if you prefer this style of editing versus my previous style. Thank you to the producer for this royalty free music and I'll leave the links down below. Since this is currently a China exclusive line, I had to go to Purple Passions PH to have it shipped from China to the Philippines. I have no affiliation with them whatsoever, but they're fairly easy to talk to. You just fill out a form, pay, and wait, I guess. That's all, and it's pretty hassle-free. Now, there is a possibility that this will be like the Pikachu line and it will be available globally so you can have a warranty and everything. But if you're too impatient to wait, a Taobao agent is a viable option. Side note, I really thought that these were supposed to make opening everything up easier. Of all three attempts I had, the stickers would not tear open and I was so annoyed because I thought it would be like satisfying, but no. Anyway, the Razer Viper Mini is actually a Chroma product, so that means it has RGB. Now, this is great, that's fine, but the Huntsman keyboard is not, which is disappointing to say the least because that means they don't react with each other through synapse and that takes away from the whole razor experience right so there's that there's just some nuances with the products that make you question the product design especially since you're paying for a premium i point this out in the bottom of the video they're not subtitles what are they called like descriptors and on both products they have rubber cables it doesn't really matter that much with the keyboard, but with a mouse, especially if you're playing games, because the rubber is more grippy than, say, a braided cable, which is something that they do and can do because their cheaper mouses have braided cables, the friction will make it so that you will feel the drag when you play games. And it's just questionable why they would make those choices, because it's already a limited edition line. People are gonna pay large amounts of money for that line, so just go all out. Anyway, that's my hot take on it. Some people are gonna say, what did you expect? It's Razer, but you know, still, whatever. Okay, I'm just gonna shut up now because we're gonna go into the sound test. If you're new to the mechanical keyboard scene and still have no idea what switch you like, I am cautioning you, I am telling you right now, do not get a clicky switch keyboard as your only keyboard. The sound may ruin your relationships with other people and yourself. Here's a brief look at the Razer Synapse software. It's pretty clean UI, it's very easy to navigate, and everything is laid out there for you. But again, you're faced with the fact that this product isn't Chroma, so again, sucks, but at the very, very, very least, the LEDs are pink. Here's the functionality of the Viper Mini. You can remap some of the buttons. Well, all of the buttons change the sensitivity and you can also adjust the lighting and what have you. I can't show you some of the lighting modes because you need another Razer Chroma product. Huntsman, why is it not RGB? I still don't know. Anyway, moving past that, the RGB, it's bright, it's smooth, it's everything you could want with RGB. Overall, I'm fairly satisfied with the collection as a whole. It's incredibly, disgustingly cute, and 
that's all I was really looking for. I know eventually I'll go back to my enthusiast keyboards because I can't handle clicky switches. But for what it is, and if you aren't someone picky like me about these little things, I think you're really really going to enjoy this line and this collection as a whole. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye!